Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 2E0IQJ. So this week's video, I'm going to show you how to program the Yaesu FT817 for local repeaters. This will also work on the ND, should work on the 818, and should work on other Yaesu models as well. So the repeater we're going to program into this radio is GB3OY, and that's at Buckhurst still. The RX frequency is 430.9500000. The TX frequency is 438.5500000. Has a plus 7.6 offset and also has an 82.5 kilohertz tone. So how do you go about entering all that into the radio? Well, on the main screen, you can you need to make sure you're on 70 SEMS. If you're not on 70 SEMS, use the band up and down button. And if you're on the memory, just press the VM button there. So that says menu sem memory 73. Press it again. And we're on VFOA. Now we need to input our RX frequency, which is 430 9500. There we go. You can use the dial there. So your repeat is already coming crashing through. It's going to give off his ident. Or you can use the dial there to get 950. Let's go back. 50. There we go. You need to press and hold the function button and menu number 42, which you can use by rotating the select dial. Make sure it's on uh, 7.6 for repeater shift and menu number 48 is the tone frequency is 82.5. Now, if it's on different tone frequency or repeater shift, you can just use a dial there. So let's do 82.5 and we go back to number. 42. Use a dial there, so at the moment that's on 7.47. Let's go to 7.6. And press and hold the function button. And you see here we've got 950, uh, 430.950. We've just set the repeat shift. We've also set the tone. If we just tap the function button and use the select dial there to go through, so it says RPT, Rev, Anton. If we press A, you'll see there's a minus there. We'll press A again. And there's a plus. Now we're going to press C. You'll see it says T for tone. Press it again. Tone squelch. And press it again. You've got DCS. Press it again. It turns it off. So we press it a, th a final time. C. So it's got the T on the screen. We give it a key up. You see there. Repeater has come crashing through. If you don't get the repeater, if you press and hold the function button, just make sure that menu number seven is set to the correct antenna. Now I've used this as like a, a port pack, so I had it set to the front antenna. Why can't I access the repeater? I've got it set to the rear antenna, menu number seven. And you'll know that. Press on the function button, you'll see the R on the screen. No need to uh, store that in its memory. So we tap the function button again, and using the select dial, go through. So we see MW. There we go, MW. And we're going to press A. And you'll see there it says MW73. If we go through, there's all the menus I've got. So 73, 74 is blank. Let's do it on 73. And press A. And that's going to ask us for a name. You can use a dial here and the select dial to go forward. So we're going to do G. B. So let's go back to three. Let's go o. And Y. GB three. O Y. There's the Y. Come on. And then here you can go through and we can get rid of the you know, the dash or whatever you want there. Let's see if we can get rid of it. There we go. And press A. And you see there, that flashed. Now we just press the VM button. And you'll see there, menu number 73 is GB3OY. Give it a key up, just test it works. And there we go, we just got into GB3OY at Buckhurst still. And that was how to program the Yaesu FT817. It also work on the 817ND. Should work on other Yaesus as well, 857, 897, and the 818. If you found the video some news and what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, yeah, the other button seems to work too. 
But as always, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully next week can be outside if there's no storm and test a copper rod with the old Slidewinder DX. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. 7-3 for now.